in the United States, the highest quality and lowest cost is in the same community, and that's in Grand Junction. I learned the importance of community there and, and the uh, passion that they had for delivering care to their patients. The, the doctors who were the best were the busy ones, and they kept very active and they kept up with their own education. And uh, it was phenomenal how they were able to do everything and run a good practice in, in Grand Junction and elsewhere. I worked about 70 hours a week for almost 40 years. And it's, it's such a wonderful profession in the sense that it doesn't stop. It just continues to grow and get better and better and better. It was a lot of fun over the years, but I worked my tail off, I have to tell you. And it wasn't about getting rich, but it was about really making connections with people and businesses to really take care of a population. We were all trying to get the patient well. We didn't care where the money went. That was the deal. What our country is understanding right now is that we needed to be able to do better primary care, uh, better comprehensive care, and that we are revaluing that because we understand by the Grand Junction model um, that the highest quality and lowest cost healthcare comes when you work as a team. I used to tell my patients when Dan Reeves coached the Broncos, remember that? I said, I'm like Dan Reeves. I said, I can't kick the ball better, and I can't pass it better, and I can't block better than anybody else, but I know somebody that can. And I said, when we need those, we'll get you those. But you're always glad to pick somebody's brain, so to speak, and say, what do you think about such and such for so and so? And a lot of that, a lot of discussion went on. It's that warm handoff that we do in this community so much better than we do others. We always seem to get along. So we're covered for each other in sort of an informal way. You're bound to, bound to run into to situations that are trem tremendous and need your help and care. They're amazing doctors, and this isn't Hollywood. They're not getting paid millions of dollars to be here. They're here because they love the quality of life and they love the way medicine is practiced in this, in this city. Well, I think the general surgeons were very helpful, you know. Uh, ben Wilson and Gordon Monroe and Joe Merrill and Scott Christensen, they were great to help us, you know. Grand Junction and St. Mary's Hospital and the training program I, I received there was, was excellent. I had many mentors, Dr. David West, uh, Ed Ellenwood, my director, even some of the specialists, Joe Merrill, and seeing the professional way you could interact. I really wanted to make a difference and help um, a special population in Grand Junction, especially St. Mary's, has allowed me to really work with a lot of underserved populations and people who can't afford care. It's been really wonderful and a blessing to my own personal life to be able to really help people. Actually, the, the most fun I've had is when you meet somebody in the office and you see them out in the street and they're friends. And if they notice you and you shake hands, you talk to them, you don't have to talk about medicine. That's the best part of the whole office practice of medicine. You meet them on the street and they're still friends and you know that you've done a good job. It's a great hospital. Yeah. It's a very good community. You get your jollies by the friendships. By having the conversation with those three ways, what's right for my patient, what's right for my community, how can we help educate doctors to do the right care, how can we make certain that everyone in Grand Junction is part of that system, you end up with higher quality care and lower costs. That's the Grand Junction secret.